I'm Karen Robbins and I'm a BA Honours Textile Fashion student under the University of Winchester. I'm half British and half Filipino. My mum's Filipino and she was a seamstress in the Philippines, so it's where I get my creativity and inspirations from. <coughs> my whole garment theme is based on the idea of mental health and mental illness. Alexander McQueen himself suffered with depression as a result of witnessing his mum as a victim of domestic violence. I myself was diagnosed with anxiety eight months ago and it left me with severe panic attacks and I couldn't leave the house, but I don't want to focus on all the negative aspects. I wanted my dress to represent the positives and my recovery and my journey and how strong it's made me. Because that's something Alexander McQueen liked to focus on. He wanted women to look strong and empowering. My mood board reflects all my inspirations. So celebrities that actually suffer with mental health, like Marilyn Monroe suffered with anxiety, David Beckham is famous for having OCD, but they still cope in the spotlight. I've also got origami features in there because I like the idea of manipulating paper and I chose to use that to manipulate fabric by using top plates with overstitching to create a wavy effect. I've used gummy bears and coated them in varnish because gummy bears were something that made me feel safe when I was going for anxiety they were my comfort blanket. Um, one of my inspirations from Alexander McQueen was a collection called The Girl Who Lived in the Tree. He imagined it himself about a woman who lived in the tree, married a prince and became a princess. It's very fluffy, all about petty coats and looking glamorous and beautiful and elegant rather than his usual dark crafty look. This is my garment itself. As you can see I've used a petticoat underneath to bring out and accentuate the curves at the hips and at the back. I've added a hole, because I think the back's a really sexy part of the woman's figure, and it's something Alexander McQueen liked about women, that they're sexy and they have these different parts and that men don't, so I've used the hole in the back. My sleeves are covered in gummy bear packets, which are real. I use this because gummy bears are part of my life, but they're not going to take over me much, as much as a sleeve is part of a dress, but it's not the whole thing, it's not the whole outfit, and I wanted to represent that. I reflected that with some foil printing on the bottom with gummy bear shapes and real gummy bears co covering some of them. At the front, I've used accessories coated with gummy bears. The handcuffs actually represent how trapped I was by gummy bears because I wouldn't release myself from them. But they are actually adjustable and they can be taken off to let loose to show that I'm now free from that. I've used fabric manipulation across the front. This is to show the waving and the mixed emotions I felt when I was going for anxiety periods. And I've used chiffon at the go days and at the yoke to show my vulnerable and fragile nature, much as chiffon is very vulnerable and, fa and fragile. If I draw your attention to the coated button at the back, it's also representing the gummy bear packet, just to link in slightly. My research I've decided to use is Dolce & Gabbana and their Sicilian theme. I like this theme because it's all about togetherness, family, there's generations of people in the photos, not just one 20 year old model. I'm actually wearing some of my research because mm -hmm. they used pencil skirts and rice, and rice sacks because it's something Sicilian and it was all about the bright colours of the plates. So I've used that and I've created a, a peplum silhouette to show off the curviness of the Mediterranean women that they use in their photos, which is something Dolce & Gabbana are all about. I've also made some earrings. There are some for you to have a look at. Oh, I thought you were going to give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I like that pair They're too heavy to wear. Are they? No, they're not. They're <laughs> earrings, I used to wear in the 80s. They're, they're great. Yeah, they're big stand-out gold <laughs> pom-pom earrings with oh, I like images yeah, nice. of Dolce & Gabbana's theme attached to it. During the theme, they wear these big earrings with their hair tied back, and that's all they want to show off with these big pom-pom bright-coloured earrings, because that's part of their culture and part of the colour scheme they went for. It does look good, it looks yeah, like a yeah. skin tone. They're dream catchers, aren't they? Yes, they are, yeah. What about the colours that you've used on these then? Um, they're just the colours that they've used in the theme. So these are plates that they have in Sicily, and it's just sort of traditional colours you'd see over there. It's very bright, bold, nothing dulled down, nothing neutral. 